Hi, it's Brad again for bradthepainter.com. I just wanted to talk today about how a professional uh, goes about painting trim in a, in a professional setting. You could certainly do this at home. The dolly I have here is, is just because, so you don't have to sort of pick up everything and move. You have it all sort of uh, like a janitor as he goes around with his, with his dolly. Uh, the, the, sort of the, the one main thing that we do that uh, sort of surprises people is that we roll trim. We, we really never, um, we never, almost never just brush. I mean, if you, if you just think about the time, and, and this is sort of the key point of the whole thing, you have a bucket of paint, you're dipping, you brush a little, you dip again, you brush a little. And I think I've shown in a few videos, when you dip, you, you don't just sort of sculpt the paint and brush the paint off excess so it doesn't drip. What we do is, if you were to just brush, dip it, let it, let it absorb some paint and flick it with your wrist against, uh, uh, sort of shake the paint off. And you'll see that the paint won't drip again for a long time. You have plenty of time to get it over to wherever you're working. And in some cases we're painting one window, we don't need a roller, but mostly we do entire houses or a number of rooms at a time. So we put a roller in a paint. This is a this is what uh, most people would think of as a, uh, most people would use a pan. Uh, we don't use pans unless it's, uh, you know, some emergency situation. Uh, we use these screens, these grids, they sort of slide right in. Actually, you can see the hooks are actually made for a five gallon, and they come to, down to about here, which is perfect. You fill your paint to right about there. You, uh, in, in, a, in an ordinary case, you would, you would dip, you would, you would, uh, get as much as you can with the roller. This, this, this is a short nap, a wool poly blend. This would probably hold a cup or more of, of latex paint or anything. And uh, you would just sort of paint with it. Paint whatever you can paint before it starts to, so that you can brush it, to, what we say, we would say tip it out, uh, before that you could do all your, all your brushing before uh, uh, your, your next, before the end of that section started to dry. You can go a long way, and, and in there are times that I've used really wide nap uh, roller, and done a whole. I might I might uh, roll half a door, and uh, tip it out, roll the other half the door, and then I'm done the door in, in under five minutes, uh, not counting the prep. In this case, uh, what what I've done here is I've glued a a, a lid, a, the lid for a can like this. I glued it to the bottom of a of a drywall mud lid. I love these two and a half gallon. Uh, uh, buckets. They're as wide as, as, as the uh, regular paint bucket, and, but they're smaller. They're easier to use. The only uh, sort of drawback of this of this setup is that it's top heavy, and it's not all that stable. The dollies that they sell for uh, sort of mop buckets are perfect. They, they, they fit right around the edge of this and they give it more stability. Uh, I have a two by four sort of <laughs> bolted into this for a little stability. And also as a step, I use this uh, little dolly as a ladder sometimes, which is really dumb. Uh, and so uh, that's, the, that's the basics. Uh, in a case like this, I just wanted to mention, uh, here's my telescoping. This is the two foot to four foot uh, telescoping pole. This is the Sherlock uh, method. It has, it has a pin here. You, you, if you don't have the screw adapter with you, these come with a screw adapter and you can screw these into, I think, pretty much any uh, major brand roller handle. You would get chip and it just snaps in. And so if I wanted to go from there, oops, it, I have to something reach something, I would go right to my other, uh, my other pole. But in this case, I think it's really hilarious that I, I say bad things about those uh, kits that uh, they come wrapped in cellophane with a brush and the roller and the roller frame and the pan all together and you pay a lot of money for that and something you're going to throw away. This is, this is, a, this roller handle actually came in one of those. It's, it's a plastic, it's a hard plastic and I've used this more than I've used my telescoping pole when I'm doing, when I'm painting trim. It's, it's just perfect. And uh, I, I just, I don't know, I, I'm a, I guess I'm a hypocrite because I talk, I say, I say so many bad things about these, uh, Rollers. I mean, if if you were to buy these this this kind of a brush, which is a dollar store brush, uh, for we use it for sort of uh, things that we're gonna we're gonna throw away quickly, sort of toxic things. Or if you were to buy those roller uh, sleeves, roller covers, 
uh, in that cellophane pan that's all wrapped up together and the brushes that come with that the bristles fall out and uh, for the on the on the um, roller covers the, the lint sheds in the paint so you paint this and even whether you brush it or not you're gonna when it's dry it's gonna feel like sandpaper it's 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 not worth the money buying a roller cover like this was, is nine dollars I think and the handle itself is like 15 this brush is like 20 you, a homeowner could make these tools and, and this pole is, I don't know, maybe maybe that's the most expensive part of it all, maybe like 20. But, but these tools all together, except for the bucket and the screen, you clean really well. And, and at the end of the day, you spend way less in painting tools and you have, uh, you have quality tools, you go faster, you, you don't hate it in the end. So that's our look at uh, uh, painting trim. I think that, that video, this video is gonna be posted with uh, a, a post on bradthepainter.com slash how to paint trim, I think is what it's called. So I hope that helps. Uh, good luck on your project.